Hi, my name is Jeremy Kalafa. I am the founder of an organization that looks to nurture foundational skills that equip children for a successful and purposeful future. Uh, what we do is we use sports as a way to nurture the life skills of children. So we use sports as an environment that enables the children to learn various life skills that will enable them to be successful in life, not only in the sporting sector, but in all aspects of life, that is relationships, business, job, whatever it may be, that they may be able to just be successful in all that they do. Uh, what, what do I love about soccer? I, I love the unpredictability of soccer. You know, as one thing that my coach always told me when I was young is that Mpira Udunda Jeremy, Mpira Udunda. That means that until the game is over, there is still a possibility for anyone and any team to actually emerge victorious. There's always a chance for a comeback, there's always a chance for a counter, there's always a chance for the small underdog team to emerge victorious. And I think that's the same thing that happens in life, that in all aspects of life, until the last moment, until that last final breath, there is still an opportunity for redemption, there is still an opportunity to succeed in whatever it is that has been placed in our lives. That until that last final breath, we have an opportunity, we have a chance to make a difference. And I think that's what I love most about Soka and how it brings out that aspect of life. I love to see children embracing each other, literally showing love on the field, in the sense that for many, uh, sports is competitive, yes, but there are also other aspects of life that we can learn from such sports. And what I'd like to see in my coaching is for children to be able to grow in terms of talent, for them to be the best that they can be, to explore their biggest talents and be the best that they can be, for them to also explore matters of their own emotional stability, that is being able to handle both loss and winning, being able to respect authority on and off the pitch, being able to have that internal resilience, even when it seems that the whole world or the fans are against you. And finally, I'd also like for them to have a spiritual aspect whereby they are able to nurture themselves spiritually. So for them to actually be able to nurture that whole aspect of themselves, that's what I'd like for them to learn, to gain from soccer, not just the talents, but also how they can be able to navigate through life. I am a graduate of Exercise and Sports Science from Kenyatta University. I have done various coaches in terms of um, soccer, soccer development. I have done track level 3 coaching. And generally I have had various experience working in different kinds of schools, both international schools and uh, Kenyan curriculum based schools, coaching soccer at different ages from primary school to high school. I, my love for soccer or for coaching uh, started at a young age, at a very young age. I always loved sports, I always loved being outdoors, playing in the fields. But then I was, I was also a bookworm, so I, I loved being in class and reading and experiencing various things. And for me, sports was something that's just a bypass, a hobby. And that is how I usually took it. Uh, in high school, I was the captain of our soccer team at Lenana School. And it was quite an interesting experience. And that, I think that's where also my love for sports and coaching deepened. Because I had what we call a, a father coach or a father figure as a coach. He would give us various life skills and various life lessons both on and off the pitch. He would teach us not only how to play the ball, but in reality how to live life. And I... I really appreciated that and that really grew my, my journey as in growing to be a man of the man that I am today. And um, so actually I wanted to do architecture. I was in no essence looking to do anything about sports, though I loved sports. But somehow I found myself doing exercise and sports science and it was, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with how we were working with kids. impact the lives of many children. There is a way to, when children see a ball, especially those children in impoverished societies who come from impoverished homes, it's something that transforms their lives. The experience they get, the feeling of practically leaving everything behind. It creates an atmosphere where literally there can be a lot of change. 
because in reality what sports is it's it's change change of the person change of the mind change of the spirit that's what sports brings out from a person there must be development there must be growth so sports has been used to help uh, children and adolescents who've been riddled with drug abuse help them deliver them from such instances and from such lives but i think the best way as to how sports labels or changes brings change in a community is through the mentor aspect whereby the coach is a mentor towards the children and thus enforcing positive life skills and positive ways of living towards the child which can help them live a positive life in reality transform the way they live transform the way they think about themselves and about their community and literally see how best they can also influence the community so those are the various ways i have seen sports influencing the lives of children as a coach, I personally believe that yes, I have been able to influence the lives of children, influence the lives of various children. And by through literally just how I live my life and how I coach the children, they are able to see various positive values from literally how we live and how we react and we act on the field. Because what basically happens is that children view the way we live, the way we act and react in the terms of various parts of the game, let's say there has been unfair or unjust treatment from the referee or from a different coach, how you react and how you act towards these situations provides a way or teaches the children on how they should act in such situations. So various children have come to me on different instances saying and actually asking and saying, coach, literally from the way you acted and the way you, you, know, you handled this situation, I really admired that and I would love to learn how I can also, you know, emulate that in my life. And so through that we are able to actually work in the lives of kids, we are able to help them embrace positive life skills in their life. Sports is not just about children running around and playing in the field. There is more to it than just, you know, kicking a ball or jumping in the water or running around a track. It creates an environment whereby children can be able to learn a whole lot. Yes, there are some children who may not be able to perhaps go through a career of sports. They may not be able to become elite athletes. They may not literally take it up as a career. But by the basis and the fact that they've been able to participate in a sporting program, especially a life skills sporting program, they will be able to come away with various skills that will enable them in life. Because sports creates a practical environment whereby the children can not only learn these skills but also play them out in various different environments and situations that are ever changing. So the child will not only come out being able to learn a particular skill or play a particular sport, but they will be able to come out being able to embrace life, being able to stand in life with successful and purposeful vision as to how they're supposed to live their life. So in reality, sports is not just about kids running around. It's about creating an environment where children can be able to learn skills that will equip them for life.